Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to some more N-Hypen and today we are here with the official music video for the Japanese release of Bite Me. I don't know what it is about these K-pop groups but whenever they do like Japanese versions with Japanese music videos they always go super hard. Like I don't know why but they're always so different. <laughs> they always seem to go an extra level and they're just always visually really really striking so I'm really excited to see kind of how this differs from you know, the gorgeous original video that we already have. I won't lie to you, I normally don't always tend to listen to Japanese releases because I'm already so used to the Korean versions. But like I say, the music videos always just go the extra mile. So yeah, I'm excited to see what they do with this. Uh, so yeah, if you're here for it and you'd like to watch along with me, which I'm sure you are because you clicked on this video, thank you ever so much. Then what do I always say? Get a snack, get a drink, make sure you're comfortable. Let's go. Okay, everyone, are we ready? Are we comfortable? Just a quick question and feel free to comment if you want to. But who's your bias? I haven't yet asked this to you guys, but who are your biases of Enhypen and why? I don't know if you know, because if you've watched my journey with Enhypen so far, um, it is literally Jay and Jake who are very much on par for me. Like, I don't know what it is. The two Jays, I'm just... I'm in love. I'm obsessed. So yeah, they are my two biases. Um, but I love them all. A bit like a lot of the groups that I stand, you can have your biases, but you appreciate and love every member because they're all so different. So I get that vibe very much from Enhypen. But Jay and Jake, my my two number ones. Um, but anyway, yes, are we ready? This is the official music video to Bite Me, the Japanese version from Enhypen. Three, two, one, press play. Boop. Oh, are we bringing that? Oh, the ladies are there. Hi, ladies. Oh, it's white though this time, white and blue. Bringing that royal kind of look back. That's what the that's what some of the fans did. They were like, "Get them ladies out of here, Thanos them." Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh! Okay, him as well. Gorgeous. Okay. I will. Jay, I will. Jay, I will. Jake, I will. Oh, oh my god, blonde he sung. Okay, with the forehead. <laughs> the one thing that I wish this song was is longer. <laughs> like, why does it end here? Just keep going. Just keep going further. Also, these visuals. Wow. I don't think that was a. Uh, don't think that was a like a cherry or strawberry smoothie, was it? Mm. So. 
my point has been proven. Like I said at the start of this, there's just something about Japanese releases and Japanese music videos that are just really visually striking to me. Like I actually preferred that to the original music video. Don't get me wrong, the original music video is, is, is gorgeous, obviously. But that was just, it was like art. Like I, I, it was so stripped back, like there wasn't a lot going on, but there was just so much into it, like intricate details within that that I really appreciate. Plus they looked so good, obviously. And yeah, it actually sounded quite nice in Japanese, I won't lie to you. Like there's so much English in it that I, I wasn't really bothered whether it was Korean or Japanese, to be honest with you, because the song is just that good regardless. Um, So yeah, loved it, obviously. It's really hard, by the way, when you're a reactor and you react to all these groups. I mean, I know I don't do half as many as some reactors out there, you know, they are, you know, fighting that strong fight, I tell you. Um, like it's very hard to ne negatively critique watching stuff because all these groups just have so much talent it's hard to like say something you dislike i mean even though sometimes i find groups or i find certain songs that aren't my type i cannot you know sit here and, and say it's bad because it's not do you know what i mean this is why fan wars and stuff blow my mind and you know how all these like fan bases fight over all these groups and it's like yeah but they might not be your kind of thing and you know you might not particularly enjoy their type of music but you can't deny that there's talent there you know you can't just say a group's crap when they're not do you know what I mean so it never 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 sits right with me I don't understand it um but anyway that was great really enjoyed that um appreciate the fact that they released that and gave us those beautiful visuals um so yeah thank you for so much for being here guys thank you for clicking on this video and watching that with me and hyper o'clock will be starting here when am i when I've, I've made a new calendar for my schedule so i can keep on top of things um but it will be starting i think at the start of october and i'm literally going to be uploading one episode or even two episodes of an hyper o'clock every week here on youtube and I'm going to be doing and hyping episodes over on my Patreon now that I've finished So So Fun. So they'll be starting in October. I'm just trying to get little bits finished here and there before I start new things because I'm not the type of reactor who can just watch something different every week. Like because of my work and, and like YouTube lifestyle and balance and kind of like making things work, I have to have a bit of a plan. Um, so that is the plan. So please look forward to that. And I hope you guys will watch along with me because some and hyping like reality show content and goofiness is something that I think I'm really going to enjoy. Um, so yeah, anyway, thank you so much for being here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Look after yourselves and I will see you very, very soon. Like I just said, for some more and hyping. See you later. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. See you next time. Bye.